Another complex pattern of inheritance is sex-linked or X-linked traits. Before we get into that, we want to talk about sex determination, um, and that's which parent basically determines the sex of a child. Um, we're not talking about gender or identity or anything like that, just the biological sex of a child. So the sex is determined by the sex chromosomes. Females have two X chromosomes, and males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. Something important to keep in mind um, as we talk about X-linked traits is that the X chromosome is much bigger than the Y chromosome. The Y chromosome um, is significantly smaller and contains fewer genes, so that's important. So if we look at this example over here, okay, there's... So egg cells are always going to carry an X chromosome, which X chromosome is the question, right? Whereas 50% of sperm cells carry an X chromosome, the other 50% carry a Y chromosome. So which parent determines the sex of a child? That's right, the father, right? Because did you receive an X chromosome or a Y chromosome? That determines if you are genetically male or female. Now, when we talk about sex-linked or X-linked traits, these are traits whose gene is only on the X chromosome. Because um, remember, we're just saying that the X chromosome's are really long compared to the Y chromosome. So the gene for colorblindness, for example, let's say it's right here. It's on the X chromosome. There is no equivalent of that on the Y chromosome. The X and the Y do not have the same genes on them. The Y chromosome has genes that are specific to determining things like what we call maleness, the sex determining gene is on the Y chromosome and that's what gives a developing fetus, you know, testes versus ovaries. But the X chromosome carries all these other types of genes, so color blindness is one of them. Now, if we say that someone is normal, okay, so they're not color blind at all, that means they do not have the allele for color blindness. They have the allele for regular color vision. So we might just show that with XX or XY, depending on female or male. Um, it's really important when we're talking about X-linked traits that we include the sex chromosomes, the X's and Y's. A female may be a carrier for color blindness, and that means she has one normal color vision allele, but then she also has the allele for color blindness. But because it's a recessive trait and she has the dominant normal vision allele, she would not be color blind. And then a female could be affected by color blindness if she had two of the recessive alleles. A male can be affected by color blindness if he has just one copy of the allele because the Y chromosome doesn't have a dominant allele to mask that. Okay. So if you think about that, who is more likely to be affected by recessive X-linked traits, males or females? And the answer is males because they only need one copy of that allele to be affected, whereas females would need two. If we look at an example of how color blindness can be inherited, let's say that mom is a carrier for color blindness. So she herself has normal color vision. Um, dad also has normal vision. If that's the case, so we can see over here, their are genotypes. Okay? And what we're showing with the actual picture of the chromosomes and this one doesn't really do it justice because it's showing the Y chromosome to be the same length as the X chromosome, but just remember, it's not it's much smaller. Um, this little red on one of mom's X chromosomes, that's the allele for color blindness, the recessive allele. What you have to imagine that's not showing up is that right here, there would be the dominant allele for normal color vision, which is what dad would have too. Okay, so he doesn't have the recessive allele because he's not color blind. So if you set up this cross, we could see if we look at their daughters, which would have two X chromosomes, right? Half of the daughters would be totally normal, and the other half would have normal vision but be carriers for color blindness. Whereas if we look at the sons, there's a 50% chance that the sons would have normal vision, but there's also a 50% chance that the sons would be color blind. And what's important to remember is that the son, if you have a color blind son, he inherited that trait from his mother because he inherited his X chromosome from his mom and his Y from his dad. While we're talking about color blindness, if 
The most common form of colorblindness is red-green colorblindness. Um, so if someone were red-green colorblind, they would not be able to see the number that appears in the circle over on the right-hand side. So hopefully you can. If not, then you might want to go see your eye doctor. It's not a at all a fatal condition, um, but it's always good to know. But hopefully you can all see that there is the number 2 in that circle. Another um, X-linked trait that is recessive and often talked about is hemophilia. Um, hemophilia is a blood clotting disorder. And one of you might research this for your genetic disorder project, so I won't say much more about that right now. Uh, but there are some interesting connections with royal families. So um, if a father with hemophilia, so I'm going to use a little h to represent the recessive allele for hemophilia, marries a woman who does not have hemophilia and no history of it in her family. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to use, just to be consistent, a big H to represent the dominant allele, right? No hemophilia. So big H equals normal blood clotting. Okay. Little h is the allele for hemophilia. So if we set up this cross, so here's our father, who is a hemophiliac, and here's the mother, who has no history of it in her family. If we look at the daughters first, we can see that the daughters would all be carriers. So any daughter would be a carrier for hemophilia because she receives one of her X chromosomes from the dad, and the dad only has the recessive allele. Um, when we look at the sons, okay, notice that none of the sons would have hemophilia because the mom doesn't. Okay? So when we talk about X-linked traits, we almost start to see a um, back and forth pattern where it goes mother to son to daughter okay, or father to daughter to son. So it's really interesting. And remind me to tell you um, about a family connection that I have to an X-linked trait in class.